children today we will be doing exercise 5.1 of unit 5 that is multiplication and in this exercise we are going to do multiplication sums where we will multiply the given number by a one digit number means multiplication by one digit number we are going to do today and that too in the column form without carrying means without regrouping so let us read the question question is multiply and the first part is 12031 multiply by 3 means 12031 multiply by 3 so the number which we have to multiply is a five digit number so first of all we will write the five places over here that is ones tens hundred thousand and 10000 and let us write these numbers according to the places so 1 2 0 3 1 this is our multiplicand the number which we have to multiply then multiply by 3 and this number by which we are multiplying is known as the multiplier and the answer which we will get here will be known as the product so let us multiply so first of all we will multiply the ones then tens and then we will proceed to hundreds then thousands and lastly the ten thousands so let us begin with the ones place three ones are three three threes are nine three zeros are zero Three twos are six, and three ones are three. So our answer is thirty-six thousand ninety-three. Now, after getting the answer, that is the product. The answer which we get after multiplication is known as the product. You should remember this thing. So therefore, one two zero three one multiply by three is equals to. Three six zero nine three. It means twelve thousand thirty one multiplied by three will give us the answer thirty six thousand and ninety three. Now let us move on to the second sum. It is forty two thousand three hundred and fourteen multiplied by two. So it is again a five digit number. So we will write here the five places: ones, tens, hundred, thousand, and ten thousand. Then we will write the number according to the places. Multiply by two. So the top number is known as the number which we are going to multiply. Means the multiplicand. The number by which we are multiplying is known as the multiplier. And the answer which we will get will be known as the product. So let us first of all multiply the ones. Two fours are eight. Then tens. Two ones are two. Let us move on to hundreds. Two threes are six. Now thousands. Two twos are Four and lastly ten thousand. So two fours are eight. So our answer is eighty four thousand six hundred and twenty eight. This is our product because the answer which we get after multiplication is known as the product. Therefore forty two thousand three hundred and fourteen multiplied by two is equals to eighty four thousand six hundred and twenty eight. Now let us move on to the next sum. It is ten thousand two hundred and twelve multiply by four. Again, we will mention the places over here. Then we will write the multiplicand as well as the multiplier, and then we will find the product. Now, first of all, let us multiply the ones. Four twos are eight. Then tens. Four ones are four. Hundreds. Four twos are eight. Next is thousands. Four zeros are. Zero, dear students, we have gone through the property of zero. That is, whenever we multiply a number by zero, the answer is always zero. Now, ten thousands, four ones are four. Whenever we multiply a number by one, the answer is the number itself. So our product is forty thousand eight hundred and forty-eight. Therefore, ten thousand two hundred and twelve multiplied by four is equals to forty thousand eight hundred and forty. Eight. Now let us move on to the next sum. Eleven thousand eleven multiply by five. Again, first of all, we will mention the places. Then we will write the multiplicand. Then multiplier. And after multiplication, we will get the answer as product. So let us multiply the ones. Five ones are five. Then tens. Five ones are five. Then hundreds. Five zeros are. Zero. Now thousands. Five ones are five, and lastly ten thousands. Five ones are five. So our answer is forty-five thousand 
fifty-five thousand and fifty-five. Therefore, eleven thousand eleven multiplied by five is equals to fifty-five thousand fifty-five. Now let us do the fifth sum. Eleven thousand thirty-two multiplied by three. Again, first of all, we will mention the places. Then we will write the multiplicand and then multiplier. Now let us find the product after multiplication. So let us multiply the ones. Three twos are six. Now tens. Three threes are nine. Next is hundreds. Three zeros are zero. Next is thousands. Three ones are three. Now lastly, ten thousands. Three ones are three, so our answer is thirty-three thousand and ninety-six. Therefore, eleven thousand thirty-two multiplied by three is equals to thirty-three thousand ninety-six. Now, the last sum of this question: twenty-one thousand twenty-two multiplied by three. First of all, we will write the five places because it's a five-digit number. Then we will write the multiplicand, the first number. Then the second number, which is written after multiplication, that is multiplier, and now we will find the product by multiplying. So let us multiply the ones. Three twos are six. Now tens. Three twos are six. Next is hundreds. Three zeros are zero. Next is thousands. Three ones are three. And lastly, ten thousands. So three twos are six. So our answer is sixty-three thousand sixty-six. Therefore, twenty one thousand twenty two multiplied by three is equals to sixty three thousand and sixty six. So, dear students, this is how you are supposed to do the first question. Means multiplication by one digit number. Now, let us move on to the second question of the same exercise. Now, what you are supposed to do in this in this question? Multiply and write the product in words. You have to multiply. As we have multiplied in the first question, but after multiplication, when you will get the product, at that time you have to write that product in words. Because it means you have to write its number name. So our first question is question number seven because it is continuing after the first question. So we have done six parts in the first question. Now it's the next that is seventh part. Twelve thousand forty-three multiplied by two. Again, we will write the places: ones, tens, hundred, thousand, and ten thousand. First of all, we will write the multiplicand, then the multiplier. The number which is given before the sign of multiplication is known as multiplicand, and the number which is given after the sign of multiplication is known as the multiplier. And the answer which we will get after multiplication will be known as the product. So let us multiply the ones: two threes are six. Now tens. Two fours are Eight now hundreds two zeros are zero now it's the turn of thousands two twos are four now ten thousands two ones are two so our answer is twenty four thousand eighty six now this is the an this answer which we have got after multiplication is known as the product because the answer which we get after multiplying two numbers or three numbers is known as the product now we have to write this product in words. So, what is the place of this two here? Ten thousands. And what is the place of this four? Thousands. So, thousands and ten thousands comes in the same period. That is thousands. So, we will read it together, like twenty-four. So, we will write twenty-four. So, what is the period here? That is. Thousands. You don't have to write this period. This I'm just writing to explain it to you. So twenty four thousand, and then at hundreds place it is zero. So we don't have to write it. Ones and tens we always read together. So it is eight six eighty six. So twenty four thousand eighty six. This is how you have to write the product in words. Now let us move on to the next question. Eleven thousand two hundred and two multiply by four. First of all, we will mention the places. Then we will write the multiplicand, the first number, then the multiplier, the number which is written after the sign of multiplication, and now we will find the product. So let us move. Uh, start with the ones place. Four twos are eight. Now tens. Four zeros are zero. Now hundreds. Four twos are eight. Now next is thousands. Four ones are four, and lastly ten thousands. Again four ones are 
four. So our answer is forty four thousand eight hundred and eight. So again, this four comes under thousands and this four comes under ten thousands. So its period is same. That is thousands. So we will read them together. Four four forty four. So forty four. Then its period. That is thousand. Forty-four thousand. Now, what is the place of eight? That is hundred. Eight hundred, and we have to read one sentence together. So there is only one number at the ones place. There is nothing at uh, tens place. So eight will be read as eight. Now eight hundred and. Eight. So the product in words is forty four thousand eight hundred eight. Now our last sum, that is sum number nine, twenty one thousand twenty two, multiply by three. Again, we will mention all the five places because we are having a five digit number which we have to multiply. Then we will write the multiplicand and multiplier, and now we will find the product. So let us multiply the ones. Three twos are six. Then tens. Three twos are Six, then hundreds. Three zeros are zero. Then thousands. Three ones are three. Then ten thousands. Three twos are six. So our answer is sixty-three thousand sixty-six. Now we have to write the product in words. This is the product means the answer of multiplication is known as the product. So thousand and ten thousand both comes under the same period that is. Thousands. So we will read them together. Six three sixty three. It means sixty three thousand. Then at hundreds place it is zero. So we don't have to write it. Now ones tens we have to read together. Six six sixty six. So sixty three thousand sixty six is the answer in. the answer in words it means first of all we have to just find the product after multiplying both the multiplicand and the multiplier and after that we have to write that product in words so i hope you would have understood the two questions which we have done today so thank you